Hey everybody, this is Melina from Me Crafty Scrapper on Instagram and scrapbookingwithme.com. Uh, for those who do not know, I am the M in scrapbooking with M E, me. Um, Mom is E, uh, Edith from scrapbookingwithme.com. And um, for those that have been with my channel for a while, I apologize for my hiatus. There have been circumstances in my life uh, lately, lots of sickness and lots of death, and it's been hard. And to tell you the truth, I've just not been in a good place for a while so um that's just truth i'm just giving you truth <laughs> at the beginning of this video so um like i said apologies for being gone off of my youtube for so long i'm gonna try my best to do better but there have just been um, just to highlight a few deaths, <laughs> because there's been many, many more than this, but we had a very close friend in our church. Um, many of you know that my husband and I, pastor, have been at the same church for over 10 years now, and a great man in our church passed away suddenly, and, um, you know, that, that is to be expected in the ministry, and you would think I'd be used to it by now, I'm not. <laughs> So, um, that, his death kind of got the ball rolling as far as, um, tragedy, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Um, my friend that I've had since the ninth grade <clears throat> passed away at the age of 44 from pancreatic cancer. I got to see her two days before she passed. That has been really rough. I miss her so much I can't stand it. <laughs> Most days. <laughs> um, and then, um, be even before that, Brandon's grandmother <clears throat> on his dad's side passed away. And then six months later, Brandon's mother passed. As of this video, it's not even been two weeks since we had his mother's funeral. Um, she passed from brain cancer. She found out she was diagnosed and in 10 days she was gone from her cancer diagnosis. The first, what, five minutes of this video, <laughs> I'm pouring my soul out to y'all. So since about, um, I don't know summer of last year it's been rough it's been very rough and then when this year started we thought it's a new year it's going to be better and it is not starting out to be better so i do apologize um though for not keeping you updated i know that um a lot have um talked to mom and um, you know, tried to figure out where I went. <laughs> um, but that is it in a nutshell. There's, you know, been other things and sicknesses and things. And, you know, we are in the ministry, so it, it's just rough sometimes. And, um, we're just going through a season right now. And I just, I keep, keep saying, this is going to pass and our lives are going to feel a lot more normal eventually <laughs> and i'm so ready for that so anyways this helps me in normalcy um paper crafting planning stuff like that helps me in normalcy this will be my first time using my new camera i got a camera just like mom's um but she keeps reminding me <laughs> mine's a newer generation than hers. So um, I'm hoping that um, this works really well and the audio is really good. 
Um, I do like the fact that my laptop is here so I can see myself and make sure that I'm in frame all the time. So that that helps me too. Um, so bear with me with that too. So y'all have a lot to bear with me <laughs> on on this uh, what feels like debut video um, for the 2021 year. I wanted first to highlight a few um, collections, new collections we have in the shop. Um, I will link the shop below, of course, scrapbookingwithme.com is the website, and these are um, in the new products section. Um, we have this Nature Lover, I'm just going to go right into it, enough blubbering, enough of my life story. Now. <laughs> I'm going to get into what I actually, you know, got the video going for. This is some Nature Lover Ephemera from Prima. And I will open this up and let you see these. So there are all kinds of very beautiful, kind of vintagey, but um, fold accents too. Not every piece has full gold foil on it, but a lot of different antique that's my word, antique things in this. Isn't that pretty? Um, pack of ephemera. This is just one of the packs of ephemera. This actually pops apart. It's like four different pieces. This is just one pack of ephemera that we have new in the shop. So you need to check that out. So there's some of that. I'll go through it really quick here. Beautiful pieces in that Nature Lover ephemera. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Tim Holtz ideology stuff. So we also <laughs> plug there. We also have that in the shop right now. I just got a new shipment as of this video. Uh, everything I'm talking about as far as um, what we have in the shop pertains to when this video was shot. So if you go there in six months after you watch this video for the first time and it's not there, <laughs> it's because uh, you're watching the video six months after it was made. Um, this is the My Sweet 12 by 12 pack that we have in the shop. And I should have gotten the plastic off of the sides before I started the video, but oh well. I thought this was very pretty. I love butterflies anyway, so that is a plus for me. And here are some of the papers. Oh my goodness, look how pretty. And they're all double sided, so we've got roses on the back. So there are two sheets, let's say two sheets of six double sided, four sheets each. So four sheets of that same pattern. So you'll get four of those. So I'll go through there. Look at that. The cut apart. I love cut apart sheets. Those make me happy. Another cut apart sheet. It's buttons. Like vintage -y button packs. Love that. That is gorgeous. Okay, then that, the little scissors, too cute. And that is that pack. So that is the Prima My Sweet 12 by 12 paper pad currently in the shop. This is brand new in the shop. Oh my. It's called Home Again. It is by Cartabella. And this is the 12 by 12. It's got all of these papers, plus it has um, cardstock stickers, a sheet of cardstock stickers, uh, cut aparts, and then it has, does it have that in here? 
Let me let me go through here. Hold on. I think that's the card. Sorry, I was about to say it doesn't have that die cut pack in here. It's the cut apart. Yeah. Oh, and this paper. I mean, it's cardstock, but it's it's really it's not thick like chipboard thick, but it's thicker than it has been before. That's gorgeous. This is like kind of magnolia kind of um, themed. I love that. Cut of parts and that on the back. Woo, that'll make your eyes hurt. And then that and then that plain dot on the back of that. Oh, and that beautiful magnolia paper. And then, you know, if you don't know, the branding strip lets you know what's on the back. So you're going to have a wood grain on the back of that magnolia. And there's another cut apart. And you're going to have a green plaid on the back of that. That is so cute. But then I love that too. Oh, look at those little tags. Those would be great cut out and put in... Uh, junk journals. Very pretty. More cut aparts. Oh, and little bows on the back. That's cute. Vases. Oh my. What a great little scrapbook page that would make. Leaves. And then, oh, it's like a um, board, letter board cute more flowers oh i like the simplicity of that and then the little flower truck isn't that cute and more um like wood grain and then there is the sticker yes that is what this is showing this looks like it would be die cuts and i'm sure there's a die cut pack that goes along with this but just in this little 12 by 12 kit this is what you get. And that's all like uh, cardstock stickers. Very cute. I love this collection. And we just uploaded all of this to the website. <clears throat> this one and there's I think four others that we uploaded to the website. I'm not going to put that back in plastic right now. This one has been in there for a, about a week or two, maybe a week and a half. Salutations. This one's by Echo Park. And I love the soft muted colors in this. Let me get it out for you. So this one's called Salutations number one. And it has um, cardstock stickers in it, cut apart. So let's get right in there. Look at that. First off, cut aparts. And then look at that paper on the back. Now, this is cool. You get two of those cut aparts. Now, these are, let's see, it says kit contains 12, 12 by 12 double sided papers and then 12 element stickers. So, look at that. There's two sheets of that. So, you could use the cut aparts on one and then use the paper on the other side. And then you have that cut apart and that pink print on the back of that. And then you have two of those because look at that back. So you could use that and then use that. I love that because sometimes you get double sided paper and you hate to just use the one side because the other side's so pretty. Look at that. So you get two of those. I really like that. Favorite part of this kit. Yep, love that. Let's see, was that one? There was one that didn't. Have two. Hey, sunshine. Let's see. Shake it off. Oh, yeah. There were two of this one. I just didn't have them together. There we go. 
Okay, and then hello, good vibes only. Heck yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I love that you get two in each design. Yay. That is too cute. And then that beautiful flower paper on the back. And then this um, cardstock sticker sheet. I love those. Very pretty. So that is the Salutations number one from Carta. I mean, from Echo Park. This one is from Cartabella. This one is from Echo Park. And it is in the shop. I don't think we're sold out of that one. There have been a couple that we've been sold out of and we can't get any more of because it was so popular. This one was a couple of months back. Now, I love this paper. This is also from Echo Park. It's called Coffee and Friends. Um, we have a brand new um, collection in the shop that's called Coffee. It's made by a different company, though. And I love that one just as much, if not more. But this one has those muted colors in it again. And the greens that kind of goes along with the salutation. So if you got this Coffee and Friends a couple of months back from the shop. And you want something that kind of coordinates. The salutations coordinates that green. And that green is almost exactly the same green. So I will go through this and I'm almost sure that we can still order this if anybody's interested you can uh, leave me comments below or message me on facebook melina ray pilot and i will um get some of these put back in the shop if we can order them which i think we can so coffee and friends it's kind of got the magnolia look kind of like um even though it's not by the same company Kind of got that same magnolia print, which I love. And the cut aparts in this one was just too gorgeous not to buy it. I just love that. Which, of course, you know, since I am my mommy's daughter, I don't have to buy a lot that I get from the shop because I like to show them on my videos and then make stuff with them from my videos. So those cut aparts are so pretty. And then there is that letter board. Kind of like that other collection there. With um, kind of like wood siding on the back. I really like that. And then floral. And a kind of a check on the back. And then more cut aparts. Cut aparts are my favorite. Oh, I love that subway tile. Love that. Um, those would even be cute cut apart. Beautiful floral on the back of that one. Uh, my favorite. Love that. Love those cut aparts. Oh, that tea, the teacups. Very cute. Well, of course, coffee cups, but they look like beautiful teacups. Namaste. Love it. See, that's why I love this collection. I <laughs> love cut aparts. And those coffee cups are adorable. Mocha latte. And then here is the cardstock stickers. Very cute. And that is the Coffee and Friends collection from Echo Park. And um, we are possibly out of stock of it but like i said i can um try and get that back in the shop if anybody is interested let me know and i will try to get that back in stock for you in the shop today i want to show you how i put together a little um journal using this paper pad and this was the first paper pad i showed you the prima my sweet 12 by 12 paper pad now <clears throat> you're going to make this journal using one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and i do believe i'm going to use this one 
So, I got the idea for making this um, journal from Treasure Books, Natasha Treasure Books. Now, mine is not going to be folded as many times as hers, but when I saw her 12 by 12 um, journal that she did that had the two signatures in it, and it was trifold, too cute, and I thought, I can do that but just make it a one fold instead of a tri-fold and I could do my signatures a little bit bigger. So anybody that's wondering what in the world are you talking about when you say signatures, Mother has um, went over this extensively on her channel, but a signature is when you get, um, make a little booklet and then you use um, needle, thread, like the wax thread that we have in the shop, um, and bind it together. So that's a signature. You can have more than one signature in a journal. Um, but it's kind of like making uh, traveler's notebooks. If you're familiar with traveler's notebooks, it's kind of like that. So I want to make one using a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock as my cover and putting a signature inside of it. So that is the back side. I thought that was very cute. Polka dots. I'm kind of distressed looking. I am also going to be distressing a little bit more with my Gathered Twigs uh, Distress Ink from Tim Holtz that I also got in the shop. Okay, I want my cover to be 9 inches tall. So what we're going to do, we're not going to cut this off. We've got a 12 by 12 sheet of paper and I want it to be nine inches tall so I'm going to line it up I'm going to make my mark here so when I put it on my score pal I can get it cut like I want it and of course if you're a great mathematician you already knew that um, if you want a nine inch tall journal cover and you have a 12 inch piece of cardstock you would just score it at three but I'm just kind of going through all of the all of it with you okay so that's going to help it reinforce it going to help reinforce it and yes there this is directional paper so at the bottom it's going to have some of my butterflies upside down but I'm gonna fold this is gonna be folded over and then that flap's gonna fold this way and my signature is gonna be in there so it's not gonna be I could even cover that if I want to it's beautiful but it is upside down so if your OCD gets you in the gut just do <laughs> paper a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that is not directional okay so Let's write this down, 12 by 12 piece of paper, and then you're going to score it at 3 inches, and you're going to fold it up, okay? Then, I want to have a little flap to come over about an inch and a half, so right here, I'm going to make my mark. That's going to be my inch and a half flap. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half to work with to make my journal and put my signature in or put my notebook that I make in. Okay. So half would be five and a quarter that's half of ten and a half so I'm going to make my other fold there okay so then I am scoring I'm spelling score like score tape without the E then I'm going to score at after I fold, 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 after you fold up, then you're going to score at five 
and a quarter and at ten and a half. Okay? Or ten point five. Ugh. All right. Score at yep. Five and a quarter. And then score at ten and a half. Okay. Get my bone folder. Look at that, how pretty already. Okay, so there you have the cover for your journal. And if you are a sewer, you would want to go ahead and because these are going to be pockets here. So, what you would want to do is go ahead and sew along these lines and then up and leave these open of course all right so before we go any further i am not a sewer i do have a sewing machine um years and years and years ago i was a sewer and you know i i could have done this but my sewing machine is up somewhere and i'm I just don't do it. Now, I crochet. I love to crochet. Um, but I'm just not a, I'm not a sewer. Mother is. Mother um, sews on her um, journals often, very often. Um, she likes doing that. I just didn't get that, didn't get that gene. <clears throat> so, I'm going to distress all around the edges with my ink. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I have inked around all the edges uh, inside. And don't forget to turn it on the outside and ink around those edges. And then ink your fold here also where we fold it up. You need to ink that also. So there are our inked edges. Okay, then I'm going to go along here on these two. And I'm going to ink these two um edges here okay so there are my edges inked you can see that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to use score tape and I'm going to put these down uh, like I said, if you want to sew, go for it. You just don't want to see me do it. I'm going to use score tape. I'm using the one fourth inch score tape and go around these edges and make my pockets. Okay, so I have not went on the bottom side here because when I put something in the pocket, <clears throat> I don't want it to get stuck sticky. And that's where, if you're sewing, that would make it so much better for you. Um, and you wouldn't have to worry about that. But it gives me a little bit deeper of a pocket also. All right, going to line up. Going to line those seams up. Okay. And get your bone folder. Get that tape down really good. So now when you fold this up, you're going to have gaps, but that's fine because you want those gaps so that it lines up great right there. Okay. Okay, so got that down. And like I said, <clears throat> when you fold this over, it's going to feel bulky, but you need that because if 
it didn't because of the cardstock being folded it wouldn't line up there and then you'd have to start cutting and all that so you're going to want the bulk anyway because of the signature or the notebook you're about to put in there so it's okay all right i went ahead and got um because i'm going to be using some baker's twine here and i'm going to set it with my um, crocodile i'm going to set it with my crocodile here and use the baker's twine and it's going to wrap around and um, I got that um, idea, which I've closed a notebook with, or a journal, with Baker's Twine before. But, but Natasha, um, who I watched do one similar to this, um, that's how she closed hers. So I'm going to do that same technique on my closure. Uh, I am going to cover this paper because it is directional. It's upside down. So... I'm going to cover that with some of that same paper that we used from that collection. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to get, because you get so many of these papers in this kit that you don't feel bad for using one side when that side is so gorgeous. You don't feel bad using the other side and I think yeah I'm going to cover that with this floral so I'm going to need I'm going to come in just a little bit so I don't need all of that I don't need the whole three inches because I want my um, distressing to show and I want this to look layered I don't want it to look like I tried to cover up something I want it to look layered so I'm going to cut this at yeah I'm going to cut this at two and three quarters so you flap at the bottom if you're going to cover uh, if you cover your bottom flap that measurement is going to be two and three quarters by eleven and three quarters and like I said, that's just so that it looks like you've intentionally layered it and not like you're just trying to cover up something. Ooh, I love that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, so I'm also going to put this down with score tape. Get it lined up how you want it. And then flatten it and run your bone folder over it. Okay. In the midst of all of that, I kind of uh, ripped up that paper that's back behind it, so I want to Come back in and kind of ink that edge again since it got messed up a little bit. All right, so now you've got to fold this over and make some more bulk. Okay. Now all your bulk's on the bottom, so right now the top is laying really flat and wonderful. The bottom is kind of bulked up, okay? And then, of course, you can add die cut, decorate that however you want to. I am going to start with my signature or notebook that we're going to put in there. And I've just gotten some random 
papers and stuff, I'm going to um, use some of this vellum and some dyed papers that I got from mom. And I might use that library card and pocket in there somewhere too. That's some vellum. That's straw paper if you are in the e-club kit. We got straw paper in our kit last month. Or actually this month for March. Alright, but I want to put a cover on my book that is, I don't want it to um, for lack of a better word gaudy so I want some plain yeah I'm just going to get some plain cardstock here hold on alright this is cardstock color weave from American Crafts. So it's just a vanilla looking paper and I like that and I can decorate it how I want. So our journal cover is nine inches tall so you need to make your cover nine inches tall and Our first flap and second flap because they line up together they are five and a quarter wide so you want to give your book some space so that when you fold it over it's not going to jut into this so I'm going to make my book four and three quarters wide and nine tall. So four and say so that way you're going to give your fold over a whole half inch so it doesn't go into that other one. So four and three quarters wide by nine tall and we're making a cover so we need that times two, nine inches tall. And then we're going to score it. I'm going to score it at four and three quarters. Okay. I'm going to fold that over and make sure it's straight. Okay. Then we're going to cut that off. And make it even Stevens. Okay. So our booklet or signature will be four and three quarters by nine inches tall. And we're going to stitch it into that seam there. Stitch it in that seam. And then when we fill it up, we're going to have plenty of room so that that doesn't run into that closure there. Okay, so now you feel your signature <clears throat> exactly how you want it. If you want um, folded cardstock in it, if you want dyed papers in it, whatever you want, it is your book and you can do the same exact sizes throughout or you can do 
a larger piece and then a shorter piece, however you want it. Just get all your papers that you want to put in your little booklet and come right back. And this is um, how I cut mine out. I made the marks of how wide I needed them. And then I folded them up how I wanted them without the cover. I'm going to clip them. What two or what, yeah, what two I'm not going to be cutting. I'm clipping so that they stay in place. And this does not have to be perfect. This is yours to make however you would like. So it does not have to be perfectly cut. All right, now <clears throat> you need to get clips to keep this open. And in place. All right, so this seam, remember this is the seam that we're going to be putting that signature or that notebook into. All right, so you need a piercing tool or an awl. Okay, first off, you've got to find center on your booklet. So, the center of nine is four and a half. So we're going to find four and a half. And you want to, okay. And then you're going to go up three from there. Four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. And then you want to go down three from there. So four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, one and a half. Right about there. Okay. Then you're going to get your foam mat, felt mat, whatever you have. And put it under so you don't scar up your desk or your work surface if you're worried about that which I am because my desk is uh, custom built and I do not want to mess it up so I've got that where I want it in the cover so I need to clip it to the cover now and make sure it's straight on the cover and then clip on to that I will get I think one more clip just to make sure it stays straight okay and I'm on my foam platform I've got my piercing tool I'm going through all of those layers, making sure that I pierce through. Okay, there's your first pierce through there. Get back on my foam and go straight down into that seam. Okay, make sure you go through, and I did. Okay, and then last. Just making sure you get through. All right, there's that. Now, wax thread works lots better and stays longer, but I am out. So I'm going to use just some spool thread. And I have my blunt needle we have these and we have wax thread in the shop so if you need that you can shop for that all right Oop. 
we're going to do go in, go out from the inside. Out from the inside because you want that there. Okay, so you're going out to the outside first through the middle. Then you're coming back through one of these. Going back to the middle. And back out. Okay. And then back through the front. On that bottom there. So say you've got thread there. And then you're going to come back to the middle. And you're going to tie to that string that you had there. Try to get as close to that middle hole as you can when you're tying off. And I triple knot, especially when I don't have wax thread. And I kind of like to leave my edges there. I like to leave my edges like that um, if you want to cut that off you certainly can all right so put that over there put my pierce tool up because that is a very sharp edge and I can just see me putting my hand over on it all right now if you want to ink your pages you can um, I don't think I'm going to at this very moment, but you're going to get your bone folder. Increase those edges again. So look at that. You can use whatever paper you would like any hues that you would like. I like to match, but I mean, it's yours and you can do what you want to with it. Now, let's go ahead and do the closure and then I will show you how I finish it and put, you know, decorations and stuff like that on it. But let's go ahead and do the closure for you and that gets you the how-to tutorial on how to do this completely after we do the closure. Okay, so I use a crocodile. If you have some other kind of eyelet setting tool, totally do that. I'm using some We Are Memory Keepers eyelets, the fat ones. And I will need to use a larger hole on the one side of my crocodile. And we're going to go to four and a half and make a mark for our center. There is four and a half, and I'm going to make my center about there. Okay, then I'm going to put my eyelet in and see that gave me just enough room there. I am so glad because I did not measure. Then on your crocodile, if you do not already know this, this it says clearly base. So that is your base that sits there and then the pointy end goes into your eyelet. 
most everybody already knows that. I'm going to click to a little fatter base. Yep, and I've already got the fat on that. Okay, and then I'm going to set my eyelet. Okay, there is my eyelet set. And then I'm going to get my Baker's Twine that has a gold flake in it. And I'm going to make it, I'm going to double it so that it goes around this. Doubled like this. So you're going to fold the Baker's Twine over. And you want excess, so I want just a little bit longer than that. So I have made my Baker's twine, or you can use any kind of twine you want, but I, like hemp would be beautiful on this too. So I have made mine, let's see, 16, 62 inches. This is 62 inches. All right, and then I'm going to double it, put my two ends together. Okay, and you're going to do like a library knot. In there, so you're going to go in your eyelet on the outside with your two free ends. Okay. And then you're going to put your free ends through your end loop and pull. Okay. So there's that. You've got your closure and you've got your wrap around. Look at that can wrap around quite a few times. So you wouldn't have to make it 62 inches, but my Baker's Twine is quite thin. So I really like the look of that. And look, it gets you three um, wraps on it. And then I just put the tails around the top and it holds it. And it's kind of a shabby chic kind of look to it. So there is that. And you can decorate this however you would like. But there is your basic tutorial on that. And I'm going to go and decorate and put all kinds of um, tags and stuff in the pockets. And then I will be back at the end to show you how I finished it off but I really like how this turned out if you make one I want to see it I want to see your journal uh, made from a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock I want to see it so um, I will be right back to show you how I decorated the inside okay so I am finished um, decorating my journal that we made um, out of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. One 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. I love that. Now you can add clips to the top to really dress it up. You can even decorate it more than I have decorated it, but I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see that gold foil in this um, paper collection. You need this paper collection in your life. I'm just telling you. <laughs> it is beautiful. And then with this Baker's Twine that's got the gold uh, flick in it, it's so pretty. So I'm going to um, go through this one more time, let you see how I decorated, and I will have some still shots at the end. So this is our twine that we um, put in set with an eyelet. And I'll unwrap that. And I've got it so it wraps three times. 
and then you have your flap here that opens up this on the front I just I found some print newsprint kind of paper that I added to this this is a cut apart from that same collection as the cover and you open it up and here's your pocket that's just some paper that I had in my stock and some of the cut aparts from the paper there that I've put in that pocket and you can dress up the pockets if you want to you can put something else on this if you want to the possibilities are endless as far as decoration on my signature or notebook cover I just put some paper just a little bit smaller than the actual cover itself on there and then I put a cut apart on top of that you could have easily um, you could easily just leave that open and make it a little pocket also and then there is my signature and then I put that same paper as on the front I put it on the back and then that's just some more from my stash and then cut aparts from that paper collection that my sweet paper collection beautiful papers in there and of course there's even this little slot here um, you could have room for a you know a small pen or something there if you wanted to or make it um, some type of uh, if you wanted to do dried flowers that would be very pretty right there I need to get me some flowers from out in the yard put a couple of dried flowers right there that would be gorgeous in that tiny little pocket there <laughs> that we made but that is it guys I hope you enjoyed it I didn't put anything on the back I wanted to see that beautiful all of that beautiful paper and it was influenced um, it's not exactly like Natasha did from treasure books but it is influenced by her um, trifold journal that she made from a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock and I will link that video below too so you can go and watch her beautiful channel and of course it's also um, inspired by mother's many 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 uh, journal junk journal um, ideas and videos that she has put up at her um, YouTube that is scrapbooking with me crafts on YouTube I will link her below also Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Um, there will be some still shots at the end, so wait for those. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up on this video. And, of course, I appreciate you um, sticking with me through the beginning of this video when I poured out my life story to you. <laughs> or at least my current life story, uh, current events to you in the very beginning. Thank y'all for being a friend. Thank you for stopping by. And God bless. Bye, y'all.